Episode 5, Managing Diverse Human Resources. This episode will cover concepts in managing diverse human resources, such as organizational design and human resource management. One night, Stacy, a server to the side tables by the billiards and darts, stayed later than usual because she still had a table or two to clean. She notices Kelly across the bar is mixing drinks after hours and wonders what's up. She sees Kelly keep ducking under the bar suspiciously. Stacy goes back there and sees a cup. She smells it, and it was alcohol. Stacy exchanges words with Kelly, but does not confront her on her actions, and instead tells Carol, a manager at the club. Carol wonders how to proceed. Should she tell Sarah, who is her sister but also the manager, or simply allow Kelly to get away with it this time? Find out what Carol decides to do in Episode 5. This episode of the story covered topics in Chapter 7, Managing Diverse Human Resources, page 166. During the episode, we see Stacy evaluating the performance of two employees, Kelly and Miles, page 181. Stacy was engaged in 360-degree feedback, page 183, when she reported her findings to Carol. She noted of a critical incident, page 184, involving each of them that spurred her involvement. Carol is disappointed to hear that Kelly has been acting poorly, but delighted to hear of Miles' success as well. She believes that the employee development, page 186, of each is reaching important stages that should be addressed by Sarah, the head manager. Sarah considers the career path, page 186, of Miles and possible termination, page 187, of Kelly's employment. Scene 1. Stacy is working late and notices Kelly is behind the bar, ducking beneath it repeatedly. Kelly goes to the bathroom, and Stacy goes to the bar to smell the glass. It was unmistakable. Kelly was drinking on the job. She'd had some troubles with her work ethic at the bar before, and Stacy worried that this would hurt Kelly's career. Kelly returns from the bathroom to see that Stacy is cleaning the bar. Oh, hey, Kelly. It's great to see you. Oh, you really shouldn't have. I would have gotten that in a minute. Don't worry about it. Just trying to do my job well. Speaking of, didn't your shift end a couple of hours ago? Yeah, but I decided to stick around a little while. I've been having some trouble at home and haven't exactly been rushing to get away from work. I remember you saying that you've had a lot on your plate. I hope it's not affecting your work, though. You know how you get. Yeah, just been dealing with a lot of stress, but I don't think it'll hurt my work ethic. If you say so. Scene 2. Miles is heading the bar tonight. There is quite a crowd out, and the workload is really going to test his abilities as a bartender. Stacy is working again, and as she's cleaning the tables, she sees that Miles is really keeping up the pace. Here you go, sir. Thanks, barkeep. Wow, Miles, you've really been setting the pace around here. Sarah's definitely going to give you that raise you wanted. I really hope so. I've been trying really hard to pull my weight around here, and I just want to make a good impression. Well, I'm sure you will. All right, Miles, I should get back to work. The tables won't wait on themselves, and I can't have our customers waiting on me. Good idea. I've got plenty of drinks to make, too. I'll talk to you later, Stacy. All right, keep up the good work. Scene 3. Oh, hello, Stacy. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well. Just going to the office. Oh, okay. What do you need at the office? I just needed to talk to Sarah about something. Well, you can always tell me. Sarah's a bit busy right now, anyhow. I'll just relay it to her later. Well, it's about our bartenders. What about them? Well, I've got good and bad news. Miles has been really good lately. Never seen the bar run so smoothly on a Friday night like that. Uh-huh. So that's the good news? Yeah, that's the good news. So what about the bad news? Well, I saw Kelly drinking on the job again. Really? Yes. But I wanted to tell Sarah about the troubles Kelly has been dealing with. She's just trying to keep up. Yes, but we need more than just keeping up at scene, Stacy. 
I know. Kelly is my friend, though, and I don't want her to have any other problems than she already has. Don't worry about it. I'll tell Sarah. But if you tell Sarah, then Kelly will know that I reported her drinking, and I don't want her to be mad at me. Hmm. Scene 4. Well, this is a conundrum. What should I do? Should I stick with the company policy and report infractions to Sarah like she wants? Or should I just let Kelly slide this time? If she's really having as much problems as Stacy says, I'd rather not give her any more. But we do have our company to think about. And I can't just let her get away like that. How would I feel if it was my own children who broke the rules? <sighs> I'd have to reprimand them. I can't just ignore policy. I'll need to report this to Sarah. Scene 5. Carol approaches Sarah's office and sees that she is already speaking with Miles. Miles, I've been seeing your good work around here lately. You really handled things last Friday. Thanks, boss. Just trying to do my job. You've been doing marvelously. In fact, I think you should head the bar Fridays more often. Think you can handle it? It was a lot of work, but nothing that I couldn't handle. I'm prepared to do it every week if you need me to. Good. That's what I like to hear. I'll also be giving you a raise, effective immediately. Really? That's great! Keep up the good work, and soon you'll be doing more than tending the bar around here. Alright, will do. Well, I should really get going. Will that be all for now? Yes, that'll be all. Have a good day, Miles. Hey, Sarah. Oh, hey, Carol. How's my favorite sister? I'm fine. Just wanted to talk to you, though. Sure. What do you need? I have a little time. I was told that Kelly was drinking on the job again. Really? This is concerning. Yes. I heard that she had been having trouble problems around here before. Well, she's far too popular with the patrons to simply let go. But I can't let her think that company policy isn't something to follow. So what do you think we should do? Hmm. We'll have to dock her pay and put her through a workshop. We need to show that this is a work environment, and not just a place to party. I think so, too. Want me to have her come in? Sure. I want to talk to her myself, though. Okay. 